Hi writers! Today I want to show you another how-to book that you may want to write or maybe you might want to try this at home. It's called How to Make a Bagel Pizza. This is one of the boys favorite things to have for lunch so I thought you might want to know about it too. So here's a list of things you need. You need a bagel. So I have one bagel split into two halves. You need sauce, cheese, we like shredded mozzarella cheese, a spoon, a baking sheet that you can put in the oven, um, an oven, you need a plate, and a spatula. Okay, so that would be the list of things you need. Okay, here are the steps. I'm going to read you the step and then I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so step one. First, put the two bagel halves on the baking sheet. Okay, so you see I have two bagel halves and I'm going to place them on my baking sheet. Okay. Step two. Next, spoon sauce on each half. Okay, so this, I'm going to use my spoon, take the sauce, and put some on each bagel half like this. And you can use the bottom of the spoon to spread it. So you need about two big spoonfuls of sauce. All right, and then step three, you are going to then sprinkle cheese on the sauce. Okay, so here's the cheese. You can use a spoon or you can use your fingers as long as they are clean. You're gonna take the cheese and sprinkle it on the sauce. Now, if you like other toppings like pepperoni or vegetables, you can put those on as well. Okay, so now I have cheese sprinkled on. And then we have step four. Fourth, bake it in the oven at 350 degrees for five to 10 minutes until the cheese melts. So I'm going to carefully, please have your parents help you if you do this step, carefully put it in the oven very, very hot, so have an adult help you. Okay, and then I'm going to check the time. Let's see, and I know I'll check it in five minutes. All right, and then five, the fifth step, last, take it out of the oven and use a spatula to put them on a plate. Be careful, it's hot. So when the time is up, and my bagel pizzas are ready, I'm gonna use a spatula and carefully take them out of the oven. Now your parents are also going to need an oven mitt as well, so I probably should have included that in my list of things you will need. So you can't take it out of the oven without an oven mitt. All right, so those are the steps for how to make a bagel pizza. You could try it at home. If you don't have bagels, you could try English muffin pizzas, um, and be creative with what you put on top. If you want to try this for lunch, you can. Um, or if you want to try writing out the list of things you need in the steps for extra practice, you may do that as well. When you're done, maybe you can even practice cutting your pizzas into halves and quarters or fourths. Well, I hope you had fun listening to How to Make a Bagel Pizza, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.